We are back with more What's Now. Spring might be the perfect time to start a do-it-yourself project at your home. Well, our favorite TV contractor, Chip Wade, has more for us on how we can stay safe and simplify our projects. Spring is almost here, and with the promise of warm weather, people are ready to start their do-it-yourself projects. Here to help us is our favorite TV contractor, Chip Wade, the Emmy-winning host of shows like Elbow Room, Curb Appeal, The Block, and several other HGTV shows. Thanks for talking with us today, Chip. It's great to be here with you. All right, where can we begin if we want to spruce up our home? Well, I love to be able to focus on places in the house that need the most work first. Uh, one of those areas that I identify every year in my home is that main entry where me and my family are constantly coming in. So it's my side door on my house, not actually even the front door of the house. And it's where the kids come in with all their sporting gear and muddy hands and there's chipped paint. Well, it always bothers me and it always makes me self-conscious for my guests to come in that door as well. So what I do is I put a fresh coat of paint every single year about this time, and I think that'd be a great project for everyone to do. So check that out in your home. The issue, though, is that a lot of people overlook how to prep for paint, and primer is a huge deal. When I look for primer, there are very specific things that make a difference in the quality of the product. The first is I typically go with a water-based primer that has a lot of um, stain and sealer properties, one that has really, really high adhesion. Uh, I use a, what's called Kills to All Purpose Primer. This is interior and exterior primer. You can use it pretty much anywhere, but it also has mildew resistance and a very mild odor. So again, what this is going to do with a high-quality primer is make sure that the top coat is more durable and more true to color to what you select. If you don't do that, there's a lot of different things that cause multiple coats and kind of changing in hue that are not optimal uh, whenever you're painting. So this is going to make your painting process so much easier. It can be overwhelming to decide where to start. What's your number one DIY project that you recommend? Well, I love to have a hassle-free project, right? So that's that, that gives me a high success rate. Uh, now, one thing this spring when we're looking to get our yard starting to, you know, green up and start to uh, look really beautiful, if you're in the market by chance for a new lawnmower, you got to check out some of the latest engine innovations from Briggs & Stratton. Now, you've probably heard of Briggs & Stratton before. My first lawnmower was a snapper, you know, 20 years ago, uh, and it had a Briggs & Stratton motor on it, but it's not the same engine as it was 20 years ago. They have a couple of technologies that are very, very innovative. The first is called no oil change technology, which is awesome. It's exactly what it sounds like. You don't have to change the oil in this engine. Uh, you just have to make sure that it's topped off, which is a lot of maintenance we don't have to worry with. They also have one that's called quiet power technology. This makes the engine 50% quieter than another gas engine, which um, again, imagine just getting up early. You know, that's when I like to do my lawn work before it gets really hot outside, uh, but you can do it without annoying or frustrating your neighbors and it's just a more pleasant experience altogether being a little bit quieter. And what if we want to improve our outdoor oasis? Having a nice, quality, crisp hardscape in conjunction with a lush, healthy turf are the two things that are the difference maker for any outdoor space fundamentally. For the last 15 years doing hundreds of renovations for HGTV on shows like Curb Appeal and Elbow Room, I have found what works best. I always use products from Belgard. They make really high-end uh, wall products and paver products available in every single shape, size, color, texture you can imagine. But the cool, innovative thing this year that they've come out with is something called the Collect approach which pairs products with your home's design aesthetic so if you have more of like an earthy vibe going on or if it's more modern or eclectic it's going to show you the different textures and uh, colors that coordinate together for the entire look so you don't have to guess what matches which is really ha handy for folks like me who are designers and who design for other people but also if you're just a homeowner that wants an awesome patio or an awesome hardscape you can do all of that right from your smartphone or your computer screen with confidence and any other spring projects that you would recommend or new products that make things easier? I love having some, anything that moves that you interact with daily. Uh, I recommend looking at every year. Things like your garage doors, things like your front door, any of your door hardware, your plumbing fixtures, because you're moving and interacting with these every single day. Those are the things that I put at a higher priority than anything else on the list because they're they set the tone for the feeling of quality of your entire home because you're in close contact with them. So when you're prioritizing your budget of what needs to get done, look at those things that you touch and interact with personally every single day. Take a note of those and just see how are they pairing up. It might be something that you need to address first. 
Where can we get more information? We have all of this set up at tipsontv.com, and of course you can visit my website, chipwade.com, or any of my social channels, which are all at Chip Wade, uh, to get all of the latest product uh, advice, as well as DIY projects to inspire you to make your home amazing. And any last words of encouragement before we embark on our own DIY project? Just start with a plan, set an appropriate budget. Again, if you don't know what that is, just what you feel like is a responsible amount of money to spend, and then set yourself a date, put it on the calendar, and then you're going to set yourself up for 90% of the things that will slow you down. Thanks so much, Chip. Now I am encouraged, excited to get out there and start my DIY project. Best of luck. Have a great day.